I Am Here is called I Am Here because um, it was taken from a phrase that Ted Polemus um, wrote in an essay that he, he wrote for the Crafts Council several years ago. Um, Ted Polemus is an anthropologist, a social anthropologist, and um, he was talking about the importance of jewellery um, to people as a statement of who they are where, in, in now, in the present. There are 98 works in the exhibition. Um, there's quite a good mix between um, from, from the 1970s to the present day. Um, there's quite a lot of work from the sort of 1970s and 80s, especially from the Crafts Council's collection. Because this is um, the strongest part of our collection, we did a lot of very active collecting during the 70s and 80s when we first started collecting the Crafts Council of contemporary jewellery work. Um, the other collections in the exhibition, um, such as MIMA, Middlesbrough Institute of Contemporary Art, they have quite a lot more recent work, as well as Gallery So who, and Gallery Marse, who also have shown quite a lot of contemporary work as well. It's really difficult to explain um, perhaps how that how the change over the ninth from the 1970s to the present day has happened because there is a lot of similarities. You could, there's a lot of um, contemporary makers who are still actually using those styles and techniques that those early pioneers of the new jewellery movement um, actually presented. I think the early makers were very much the pioneers of creating something new and um, moving away from very traditional forms and you know everything had to have a jewel and it was a very simple ring or a, it was a statement piece um, it was a symbol of your wealth perhaps and those early pioneers um, like Susanna Heron or um, Gerda Flockinger people like that were really pushing those boundaries and that was what they were concerned with I think the contemporary makers have benefited from that, but they're no longer necessarily tied up with the need to do something very dramatically different. So they've taken, you can see the boundaries are still massively pushed about what is jewellery, but there's a confidence to be able to present that within a more um, wearable, jewellery-like form. It's a really direct illustration as to how some um, of the historic work, historic pieces in the exhibition are reflected in contemporary practice. One, one of our displays has um, work, a work by Susanna Heron called um, Perspex Multiples. And um, in the same cabinet, there's also a work by um, Tati Divine Studio. Susanna Heron was one of the very first artists to produce work in Perspex. And <clears throat> we're back in the 1970s. And Tati Divine is a contemporary studio practice who are very collectible, they have a huge following, they're very fashionable and popular um, and are actively producing Perspex works now. Um, but the wonderful story is that um, Tati Divine actually now currently occupy Susanna Heron's old studio factory and it was a complete coincidence. So, and I think also they actually use the same Perspex cutters, so it's, it's that wonderful kind of full circle of how these practices are sort of influenced by each other. Mm -hmm.